Welcome back to the Let's Play series. Last episode, we made a sugarcane farm, a super ethical cow farm, and built up this awesome enchanted tree to house our enchanting setup. But today, we're going to be leaving our village looking for a new adventure. We've been in our village for quite a while now. It has been four episodes. So I kind of wanted to take the opportunity to try and build somewhere else. And also maybe try and use a bit of a different build palette. And I was thinking of just heading out over this way. Still not sure what's beyond that mountain. Probably a bunch of powdered snow. Oh, but hopefully not. But other than that, I don't really have too much for a plan today. It's coming up to the holiday, so I'm kind of just winging this one. Oh, this is kind of cool down here. Look at this. Oh, I should have brought a boat. Oh, cave. Oh, and coal. I have fortune now. Oh, I really need coal. Mm, I'm getting a little bit distracted. But coal and XP, it's all useful at this stage in the game. We are still pretty early on. Look at that, over a stack already. But I think that's enough of that. Probably like a minute into the episode, I'm already distracted. All right, let's head out over this way. This is kind of cool, like a big icy valley. Yeah, I'm distracted again. Oh, is this just more snow over there? That could be kind of sweet. There's ice spikes there. Big snowy mountain. That's a little bit weird. Why don't we just pop up over this way? I'm distracted once again. And see if there's... A no, no, no. Okay, keep me away from the powdered snow, please. Oh, crap, it's everywhere. Right, big leap. Okay, well, I gave it a good go. But this area is kind of looking pretty cool, you know. No powdered snow up here. Things you love to see. Oh, snubby village. Goats. Random lava. This place is kind of cool. Might actually just flatten out some of this. We can instant mine the snow. Oh, wow, instantly full of snowballs. Maybe I'll craft this up into blocks. Yeah, maybe flattening out this area could be pretty good. Well, clearly I'm gonna have to go and get more tools. But that's all right, we're only doing a recon mission right now. Do you feel like this area could be pretty good for a winter outpost or something though? Maybe we could have like a little ice farm, a snow farm, and that may be our closest village as well. So a little base here could be super useful actually. So I might go check out that village before I do anything else. So, oh, I don't even have a shovel anymore. <gasps> Baby rabbit. Idiot. Oh. What the heck is that? I'm in powdered snow again. Oh, come on, man. This cannot be a theme of today's episode. Village or weird shipwreck? You know what? I don't care. I'm checking out both. Maybe a buried treasure map. I do need diamonds. Oh, and polar bears. Oh, this really is a holiday special, isn't it? Oh, oh there's so many. Are they mad? Mm. Oh, God, I think they're mad. Okay, we'll come back and see you later. I definitely want a pet polar bear, which apparently there is no shortage of at all. Oh, this is so awesome. Right, give me these snow blocks. Let's hop up here. I guess I'm just going to break into the ship. Be a chest in here? Yes. Chest. Hmm, iron. Emeralds. Yep. Not really complaining about that. Is that it though? Oh, buried treasure. Buried treasure. Right, inventory is completely full again. Let's uh, sort out these snowballs. Right, let me out. Let's go find this buried treasure. Oh, yeah, here we go. I mean, no diamonds, but there's some other pretty good stuff. Out of the sea, more emeralds. War breathing potion. Well, that could actually come in super handy, right? All right, let's go find this village. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm going to say that. Is anyone here? Oh, yes. Hello. Okay, that guy's a moron. Blacksmith. Diamond horse armor. Iron boots, I'll take those. Replace my old stinky ones. Get out of here. Oh, grindstone as well. That's kind of useful. This thing as well, I'll take that. I'll break it with an axe. I'll break it with an axe. Certainly beats crafting that stuff. Anything else cool? Wait, is this an igloo? Huh. Beet root soup. Seems like a good winter snack. You can wash the dishes though while I sleep in your bed. This is cool though. This is a really nice village, which I'm destroying to loot. Specifically the stone cutter. Thank you. I mean, I think that's about it for here. At the very least, it's good to know we've got a village close to our future winter outpost. We'll probably be back in another episode. Okay, everyone. See you later. I'm going back to my base now. And that's because if we're going to build a winter outpost today, well... We're going to need to get some materials. So I'm going to head back to base, which is just over that way. It's not very far. And then maybe we can figure out a block palette for today. Just get me out. Just get me out. Just get me out. I'm swimming in freezing snow. Oh, God, it's everywhere. Please. Oh, I'm actually taking damage. I hate powdered snow. Anyway, yeah, build palette for today's build. See you at home. Okay, I've had time to have a little bit of a think here. I just want to grab a few different blocks, which I don't really have that many. Yeah, but we can work on that. I sort of have a plan to build a kind of snowy lodge cabin kind of thing. Something nice and cozy. So we have pillars sort of made out of these spruce and oak. Those do go quite nice together. Walls made out of spruce planks. And then just because it's sort of the theme of our buildings, roof trim, I still want to keep this dark oak. We'd have something like that. I think this orange is something we should definitely change. Maybe something more festive. When I think festive, I think sort of green and red. I don't really have any green or red blocks. Netherrack. Eh, it's not really that nice though. Though, Hello, mangrove. Have bone meal. How do I, how do I do? Plant you. Bone meal it. Oh, oh my lord. What a monstrosity. Wow. Um, okay. I guess I can chop this 
down really, really painstakingly. This cannot be right. So would I really need that much of it if it's just for a roof? I mean, I don't really think the log text is going to fit, but... These planks? Hmm, maybe a couple trees would do it. That wouldn't be so bad, I suppose. Even though this is really annoying to chop. Oh, whose idea was this? Like, there's no way I'm not going to miss a log here. Am I at the top? I think I'm at the top. Oh, man. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got them all. Probably not. I guess we're going to find out. But if I grab these planks here and run them along here, I feel like that's quite a nice color. Yeah, it's kind of a vibe. Right, so I'm going to need a whole bunch of oak. Bunch of spruce, maybe a little bit more of this mangrove stuff. And of course the dark oak. I don't need too much of that. That's not so bad. So I guess why don't we have a little montage of some resource gathering? And then we can head back to the winter outpost. Well, after all that, I have managed to hit level 30, which means I think we should do another enchantment. But of course, I have no diamonds, so I'm going to drop off all this stuff, pop down into the mines, and do some strip mining. What the? Hello? Oh my god, it's gone dark. It's gone dark! Is there going to be a warden? You know what? Let's just go mine over here instead. All right, 18 diamonds. That's definitely enough to be getting on with. And a bunch of other goodies too, like redstone and gold. Come on, having a fortune pick is so good. Actual game changer. Right, let's chuck this gold in the furnace. I'll keep all the redstone and stuff in here. I've got to think, what do I want to enchant? Well, I do have plans to make an ice farm later on. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need silk touch for that. I mean, do I go for a fresh pick? You know what? I think I will, actually. Silk touch pickaxe would be pretty nice. Wait, what do I do with my lapis? Oh, I found it. And an extra diamond. Why not? All right. Silk touch, please. Efficiency four, guaranteed. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, um, going to quickly do one of those. Oh, but now I don't have enough levels. Um, nether? Mine a little bit of quartz? Yeah. Oh, here we are. Nice and easy. This is a pretty good source of XP, right? Oh, yeah, level 29 already. This is good. I think I'll just give it one more shot for an enchantment. There's still plenty of time left in today's episode. Though, I do feel like this one's probably going to be a long one, but eh, it's the holidays. Who cares? Oh, God, there's skellies. See ya. Yep, I forgot these guys don't like me not wearing gold. Whatever. Just get your levels and get out. Oh, thinking about it, this quartz could come in pretty handy with today's build. Hmm, almost there. Level 30, let's go. Wait, that was easy. That was like three patches of quartz or something. I'm going to have to get out of here, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, they're going to start fighting. Oh, my God. Skeleton, please. I'm trying to watch this epic battle. What is happening? What is happening? Cue the battle music. The chase is on. Come on. Oh, yes, going to lure him back over. Yes, my piglin friends. Oh, skeletons, man. If I miss this, I'm going to be so good. Oh, well, good. Oh my god, they're going after the skeleton. They just yeeted him. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you, guys. I'll take those bones. Right, let's get the heck out of here. Because if I die, then, well, I'm definitely not going to have 30 levels anymore, am I? I just realized these are the stairs that went through the portal in episode three. <laughs> uh, well, you guys can live there now. I don't want you clogging up my inventory. But here we go. One last opportunity for silk touch. For now, anyway. I'm breaking three. And, bruh. Well, we'll keep you in there for now. Along with these diamonds. And I guess all this other rubbish. <sighs> we'll try again later. Because for now, I'm just going to quickly pop into the blacksmith. Grab all these blocks that I think we're going to need for today's build. And yeah, maybe some of this deep slate as well. And I'm also going to need a little bit of iron. Right. See you in the snowy biome. Ah! <sighs> Uh, right, well, that was easy. I think to start with, I just want to make a crafting table bench. I want to make a bench. Why am I talking so weird? Bench? I meant chest. Oh, jeez. I just want to dump all my stuff, all right? And I think to start with, to start with, I need to make a shovel, clear out some more of this snow. So I just want to flatten out this area a little bit more. Oh, it's kind of annoying, but I think I need to go one more layer. And now these guys are floating. Right, that'll do. Look at all the snowballs, man. Right, I'm probably going to need this snow, so definitely craft it up. Don't want to waste anything. And already I need another chest. Oh, thankfully I brought all this wood. Right, now with this area cleared out, I want to start laying just a little floor plan for today's build. Or part of it, at least, anyway. When we have something like this. So we have an entrance here, a couple of windows. You know what, I might grab a little bit of spruce as well. Have a wall here, wall here, a little doorway. I'm going to go... One, two, three, four, five. And the same over here. Pillar there. Boom, boom, bam. And it's got to fill in the walls. Yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but I think for now it's looking pretty good. Not a whole load of room on the inside, but for what I have planned for in here, we're not going to need too much room anyway. It's not even nighttime. It's literally 
like midday. What am I doing? But before we start working on the building properly, I want to add a little bit of utility to this area, which means I'm going to want to grab all of this deep slate. Probably not going to need that much. And I also want to make a couple of buckets. Thank you. Because with all these things, I can grab myself some water. Right. Break you. There we go. Water. Now, I know this might seem crazy with like, well, this right next to me. I mean, look, it's the polar bear's habitat. I don't really want to destroy it. So I thought I'd make one of those sort of ice tray ice farm things. And it's kind of going to be a little bit ugly. So I might just put it a little bit out the way over here. Yeah, close enough, but still out the way. I think I'm going to make it maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 16, 16, 17. Right, that's 17 blocks. And that's going to make this into a square, just like that. Now, I've not made one of these in a really, really long time. I think if I make a diagonal line from corner to corner like that, which means I need to break these ones, then all I need to do is put a water source underneath each of these. So I'm going to make an infinite water source and then just come in and, well, OK, that's not how it works. Place water down, hopefully before the sun sets. And just like that, you can see that the whole thing is now filled up with water. And what these blocks are doing here is actually preventing the water from turning into ice just under these but as you can see already these are already turning into ice which i can't collect so i don't have silk touch yet oh yeah it's working over here it's working over there but once i have silk touch and all this turns into ice i'll be able to collect it all and then these water sources here will automatically fill up the tray with water again so we can get even more ice but i'm going to get lucky with silk touch before we can start harvesting all that stuff but at least we have a little bit of utility in this area now please no Oh, there's a creeper. I mean, I guess this is useful XP. Thank you. Please get me to bed in my very incomplete house. And speaking of incomplete house, I think that's what I want to work on next. I'm actually going to knock out these walls here. I think I'm going to replace them with some barrels because that way we're going to have some easy storage. And I think it's going to look pretty nice. But next up, it's time to raise up these pillars. I did not mean to strip that. I think it's going to raise them up just by another two. So I don't think the scale of this is going to be like we have at the village. Probably going to be a little bit smaller. Oh, now I've got to replace all this stripped oak and we'll put our actual oak logs back. Should be a nice little sort of mini gradient on the pillars. Probably really unnecessary but eh, I like it. We've oh, got to change all these to barrels as well, don't I? Right, I can do these. I guess I'll just leave the back for now because I want to start filling in the walls with some spruce. So here's going to be a door. So got a nice gap there. And these are going to be windows. Just going all the way around the edge. Boom. Right. Starting to take shape in here now, even though it's a little bit cold with the snow on the floor and well, no roof. But before we move on to the roof, I want to do a little bit more detailing on the outside. Gonna stairs across there like that. Trap doors in the middle for a nice little arch. And I think on top of there is where the roof's going to start coming out. We're going to bring some dark oak trap doors on the stairs here. Pillar up with some snow. And just like at the village, I'm going to use some dark oak slabs for the roof trim. So let's bring this right across the front here. And then this is where we start bringing the roof up. So we'll do one block, one block, one block again, and then... Yeah, we'll do a two in the middle. Oh, man, I still need to make a shovel. Oh, well. Yeah, I think that shape's pretty nice. I'll just get that built up on the rest of the house. All right, the roof line is in. We've got some big gaps at the ends here, but I think we'll move on to that in a little bit. So I want to fill in the main bulk of the roof with this mangrove wood, which I'm hoping I've chopped enough down. Oh, this is probably not going to be enough. We've got this 12 and another 12. Oh, dear. Yep, quite a bit short. Eh, but that's all right. I can get some more in a bit. Yep, it's still pretty chilly in here. Oh, my. Hello? Uh, yep, I'll just take the leads again. Thank Thank you. Look, guys, you don't have to be annoyed about it, all right? You know what? I'll take the leather as well. If you're going to be like that. And you, idiot. Ah, oh, they never learn, do they? But you can see this thing's starting to take shape now. Like this roof is looking a little bit bland. Maybe if we just knock out some of this and pillar up. Maybe do something a little bit different here. This is going to have to go. Bring this up like that. And once more. And I should have enough mangrove to bring this. I don't have enough. <laughs> All right, well, you're getting the idea, right? Bring some of this across like that. Put that in there. And actually, I hate it. <laughs> I hate that. That's not right. We'll put these a little bit higher up. Oh, why? Why? It's daytime. Oh, I don't have many blocks as it is. Be right back. All right, good as new. Just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Ugh. But anyway, but temporary block here. Boom, boom, sprucey, stripped. And yeah, I can fill these in. Nice. Oh, still one more gap. Boom. Mm. So what can I do here? I don't really want to see this mangrove. What, I just pop a sprucey in there? Eh, yeah, actually, that's all right. Kind of in line with this pillar here. I think I'll chuck some fence gates in as well, like that. And then maybe just a closed one up there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like it. Oh, you saw nothing. Maybe a couple of fences here. We could put some lanterns on there. Which, thinking about it... Hello, village? Lanterns? Cool, that is hell of a zoom. What? 
but that's a bit more finer detailing. We'll get onto that. I think this bit here is still looking a little bit bare. Maybe, maybe a little cover here or something. Some oak trap doors as well. Yeah, that's kind of nice, actually. I like that change in wood color. So I think I might knock out this middle one. Maybe make a stair. Will that look better? Boom. Yeah, that does look better. I do still have some of these spare trap doors. How about we put some shutters on the windows? Nice. Speaking of windows, I'm going to need a little bit of glass as well, right? Which, of course, I didn't bring. I mean, there's got to be sand around here somewhere, right? Surely. Hello, sir. Have you seen any sand? Oh, down here, you say? Thank you. Huh. What a very fine and distinguished gentleman. Right, where is it? That goat would never lie to me, would he? Oh, of course he wouldn't. Little does he know I'm actually just mining it with an axe, but eh, you don't need to know. I don't need much of this, just like six. That should be good. Eight. Now it's six. Oh, look at that. That's actually so cozy. Do you like that? Though that roof still needs sorting out, doesn't it? That looks a bit, well, it looks a bit weird. But first, let's make ourselves a furnace. Slap it down. Sand. Coal. Boom. Glass is being made. But while I'm thinking about it, let's quickly sort out that roof. Not to mention the mangrove that we're missing, but we'll get onto that. Take a slap. Slab, slab, full block, slab, full block, slab, full block, slab, full block, slab, full block. You get the idea. That should be a nice little bit of shape. Yeah, I like that. Yep, yep. That's the one. Oh, look at that sunset out the window. Oh, speaking of, surely you'll smell it by now. Yes. Which means now we can start getting some glass panes in here. Just like that. And this is really starting to come together. Still a decent amount of work to be done here, though. Not to mention these huge holes and a bunch of mangrove that needs chopping, which I am going to have to go back to the base over there to collect a little bit more. I think I'm going to dump off all this wood that I don't need right now. And I think I've got to take a trip back over there. Because, of course, I need to fill in the roof. And maybe I'll take a quick trip to Nether to maybe get some more quartz, get some more levels. Because I still want that silk touch pickaxe otherwise the ice farm's just completely pointless i've powdered snowman come on done this journey like four times and i still not learned my lesson go around the outside there we go all right see you soon oh here we are back home i am sort of putting off chopping down more mangroves so let's have a little funky quartz montage Blech. Right, level 30. It's a shot of another enchantment. And honestly, probably my last shot for this episode. Oh, I really need an XP farm. Oh, where is he? Oh, come on. Come at me. Let's get my return to sender. I missed. Come on. Yes. Oh, he can't be stopped. I may be an idiot. But... Okay, well, yeah, I'm just an idiot, all right. Right, see you at the Enchanter. And efficiency four, self touch, please. Yes! I mean, it's an oven breaking, but that's fine. Woo! Okay, that's so good. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. Except now I have to go and chop mangrove wood, so um, that is actually kind of sad. But self touch! Ooh! And we are back. But before we carry on with the cozy winter lodge, oh, that is pretty much ready. And now we have our silk touch pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. Ice farm baby is working. Let's see if the whole thing fills up again. Which, well, yes, it does. Absolutely perfect. And there's a whole other side to mine as well. Both you may as well see how much ice this gives us. All right, come on, pick it all up. Some over here as well. Hope oh, we've got like a couple of stacks. Oh, three and a bit. Hey, that's pretty good. And it's turning back to ice again already. All right, well, at least we know that thing's working. I'll keep that stored away for a rainy day. And I can finally finish putting the mangrove wood in. This is definitely going to be enough now, right? Yeah, 28. Only got this little bit here to put in. Oh, and over here. There we go. Mangrove wood in, baby. I'm oh, thinking about it. Look at the snow on this roof. Wouldn't this roof have snow on it? I mean, we're in a sort of snowy tundra. Hmm. Can I? Ooh. Do them all. Oh, okay. This gives me an idea. What if I actually just knock out some of these? Put in some snow. Let me just build up some layers around it. Sort of like snow sort of gone into the crack here and settled. Put in a few more patches of this. Oh man, is this going to be like the leaves of the snow world? You know what I mean? Probably not. Yes. Yes. Oh man, I cannot stop placing them. Right, don't ever do it. Pop down and have a look. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that, you know. Maybe a little free cam? Oh, that is it, you know. That is it. Shadies? Oh, there we go. That is looking kind of nice. I mean, maybe a little bit overkill on this side. I am thinking something else up around here. Yeah, but before we do that, I kind of want to tidy up these side roof bits. I think we'll bring spruce across here. And of course, strip it. Let's get some stairs in there. Then maybe just oak logs at the top here. Yep, I'm not mad about that. What I am mad about, though, the lack of these fence gates. You know what? Actually, we're not going to need you. We might not need you two later. 
But we'll leave them there for now. Let's get the same thing done on this side. Absolutely perfect. And once again, this thing is starting to come together. Though, we are missing a door. Boom. Oh, now we've got an actual house. Oh, and the sun setting out the window yet again. But it's a new day, and we've still got a lot of work to do. Like looting lanterns from this village. Don't worry, sir, I'm not going to take too many. Pretty sure I don't need that much. Ooh, chest. Oh, the helmet? Eh. Right, let's maybe take a couple more lanterns. That should do. I kind of wanted to take a little peek, see if they had any pumpkins lying around. And it doesn't look like they do. Kind of really need a pumpkin. Ooh, pet pigs. Hold up. Is that another village over there? Ooh. Maybe they have pumpkins. Oh, there's so many dogs here. What that? Oh, bleh! screw that village. Pumpkins right here, baby. Let's go. Yes. Oh, I love this game. Right, I don't know why I grabbed 50 and I literally just need one, but I suppose we can make a pumpkin farm with the rest at some point. I think now we should have everything we need for the rest of the day. What the heck? What are you doing out here, buddy? Isn't this like a little bit cold for you? Where is your hive even? Eh, you know what? He was probably going to get cold anyway. Happy holidays. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Yep, I probably do deserve this. <sighs> but now I think it's time to start adding a little bit of detail to this thing. And I'm thinking maybe a big chimney that comes up here. That will hopefully have a little bit of utility to it, probably. And I'm hoping that Deep Slate is going to be a nice little contrast here to the rest of the building. So I think we'll get that done in a little bit of a time lapse. Right, there we go. Looking pretty good. But if we come inside here, we should now have room to knock out some of this. We get rid of these. Can I get rid of these? Yes. I'm thinking, make a little bit of this floor sprucies. There we go. I have to put a trapdoor here. A couple bits of snow there. And a pumpkin there. Wait, I've made a bit of a mistake. A couple bits of iron. A pair of shears. And boom. Old baby snow golem. Wait, he can leave. No! I was meant to put the trapdoor one block lower. <laughs> oh, man. Right, well, I guess... Ooh! Oh! Oh! Another battle! Oh! My snowman! You! Okay, well, uh, take two on this. Pumpkin. Cheers. There we go. Should be able to put this back now. Oh man, what a nightmare. Uh, I don't even have a shovel to actually show it off working, so... Should be able to stand here, hold down left click. Oh, I'm getting snowballs, baby. Oh, this is so good. And... Right, no more shovel. But that's all right, just a stone one. And now, a whole load of free snow blocks. That's actually pretty good. Oh, another unwanted guest. But I think with this guy installed, I can start working out the rest of the interior. I'm going to make myself another shovel because I need to get rid of all of this snow. I suppose this stone as well. And I'm thinking, hmm, maybe some dark oak. That could be nice and cozy. There we go. And maybe dark oak on the ceiling as well. So I think for that, I'm going to grab some of these slabs. Probably make a few more. And I wonder if I can get some sort of arch type thing. So we'll come across here, bring it up one, and then across like that. I guess I'll just plug in these holes where the pillars are. Oh yeah, this is looking cozy. I am liking it. I can finally actually move in the crafting table and the furnace now. So I kind of want to keep everything that I could possibly need here. I'm gonna start dumping this stuff in the walls. This was meant to be special wall storage. Oh yeah, look at this. Efficient. Oh, I can't access that one. <laughs> you can't see this one on the inside. Right, let's take some of this oak stuff. So I think I might want to use this for furniture. We'll have a nice little table here. Boom. Maybe a bedside table there the chest on the top I mean, there isn't really a whole lot of room in here is there oh we've got a lanterns and they oh well we can have one on the table there with another shelf there the lantern and well i think that takes care of that what about like a dark oak shelf there maybe in these gaps and i wonder if i could get myself some plant pots and i got a bunch of clay back at the base but maybe i can get lucky and get some from the water down here i don't want to walk through the powdered snow again is that clay oh i think it might be i shouldn't need too much right here we go Oh man, this is freezing. Oh, lapis. I'll oh, fortune that. Oh, 50 from two bits. Are you. Oh, right. I was running low on that. That's actually pretty good. Right, come on. Collect it all before I suffocate. Oh, there's some more right there as well. Yeah, but 28 is probably fine. Hmm, but what would I put inside the plant pots? Maybe some berries? That could be some nice winter decoration. I'm pretty sure they spawn in these sprucey forests, I think. Please? Um, oh, maybe I'm just getting unlucky. I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe I'll we'll go and try that one over there. Oh, and it's coming to nighttime. Thankfully, though, there's a village. Sorry, I need to use your bed. How do you get? Right, perfect. Where's the berries? Can I see any? Oh boy. Right, this forest did give me pumpkins. So I believe. Come on, forest, don't embarrass me. I'm pretty sure people are watching this. Oh, another village. We never came and explored this, actually, did we? Ooh, I'm gonna take that, actually. That's like a whole bookshelf. <gasps> Bookshelves. Take these as well. Hey, this is actually pretty worth it. Take this carpet. This can all go and help. Berry berries! I knew it. I knew it. Thank you very much. Thinking about it, I hope they can actually... Ooh! Oh, I'm getting very distracted. I do apologize. I do love free loot. I'll take this bell. 
Thank you. Right, I think that's good. Let's head back home. Oh, there it is. That chimney's made quite a big difference, actually. I like that. Oh, thinking about it, this diorite could come in pretty handy. There's still more I want to do on the outside of the house. So as soon as I'm here, I'm going to pick some of this up. Oh, not again. Come on, man. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh. Right, let's get this interior sorted. We do have some more goodies to place down. Maybe a little carpet. I mean, not much of a carpet, but whatever. We'll have a little lectern. I put a book in it. No. Oh, I need to cook the clay. That's the whole point of why I left. Oh, geez. Hmm, where could the bell go? On here? Sure. Happy holidays. That was cringe. Right, three clay. I'm going to make myself a pot. Now, does this go in there? Bro, really? This whole time I was getting berries for nothing? <sighs> right, well, I guess... I don't know, it's a cup of mud. Right, plug in this hole. And you know what? I think this is actually looking pretty nice. I'm happy with it. Now, for the outside, I think a couple of lanterns here would be nice. And all this stuff kind of needs clearing up, right? I should have loads of snow. Thank you. I can plug this in. And thinking about it, if I just knock out these, do I have any dirt? Oh, why would I have dirt in a snow biome? There's some. Right. Give me the dirt, please. Get some of you out here, just like that. And then berries. Boom, boom. I don't really want to wait for them to grow up, so... Got some bone meal here. Boom. Oh, well, that's pretty. Yeah, I like it. Right, all the stone has to go. So we'll get rid of all of this. Oh, sorry, door. And this is kind of giving me an idea. Hang on a second. I was going to put a path in, but seeing as this is all snow, wouldn't the path kind of be like sunken down? Right, let's clear out another layer of this. I need a diamond shovel so bad. Right, now let's fill this in with our diorite that we just got. Okay, so it's like sort of frozen snow, I suppose. Yeah, that would probably just be ice. God, I'm an idiot. That's kind of cool. Then what if we take some of our snow layers, start building up at the sides? Try to make sure they're all different heights so it looks sort of realistic, I suppose. Okay, kind of cool, kind of cool. Maybe this one's a little bit much. And then come through and build it up on the sides here as well. And just sort of fade it out a little bit. Make sure I do over here as well. Oh, this guy wants to test the path. I'm sorry. It's not for zombies. Which means I should probably sleep. Oh, come on, man. This is looking pretty nice. I wonder if maybe knock out some of this diorite. Maybe some gravel would look quite nice. Just like dirty it up a little bit. A little patch there. Need something for the door to go on. Eh, the spruce log, sure. Boom. Bam. And this is going to need replacing. Oh, geez. Let's do some sprucies. And just one diorite slab right here. Boom. Maybe a few of these dotted around. Yeah, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, man. What a cool snowy path. Oh, I'm so happy with that. And with that, I say this building is getting pretty close to done. Need to dump off a little bit more of my stuff. I'm going to have so many items to sort out after this episode. Because there's only one more thing I want to do today. We've done the ice farm. We've made this awesome winter outpost and a nice interior and a snow farm. But we still need some guests. And I'm thinking maybe we can give someone a nice home. Oh. There they are. Two adults. Are these guys are going to be aggressive. I hope they're not. It's the holidays. Get in the holiday spirit. Hi, guys. I'm friendly. You guys friendly? Oh, I think they're friendly. Come with me. You're going to have the best time living up there, even though that mound is covering it. But trust me, once you see it, you're going to love it. Now, I've just got to try and not drop these guys in powdered snow. I don't really think they'd like that very much. Oh, well, this isn't going well. Come on, come on. Are oh, you stuck on that, man? Come on. What are these guys doing? Please. Yes. Oh, right, this is just... So frustrating. I'm going to see you guys at the house with these polar bears. Come on, guys. We're almost there. This has been incredibly painstaking. I'm maybe having a few regrets about this. Come on. Onto the path. You just... Ugh, you guys are actually the worst. Right. You know what? Give me a fence. You guys... Well, you live in there. Two pet polar bears and a lovely winter outpost. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe the polar bears were a bad idea. Oh, and now I realize I've lost a lead in the process. Brilliant. But, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a holiday special. Plus, we've actually got a nice build and a couple of cool farms out of it. They'll probably come in pretty handy for this series. I hope. But, guys, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy holidays!